Ooh, look at here, back in the canoe. On the water, super easy, no money spent. Let's talk about the canoe, what's in it, and how we use it. Here is the beloved canoe. She's 16 feet. I'd guesstimate her at about 65 pounds, just judging by how easy she is to lift. That's a 16 foot skiff that weighs like a light kayak. She's easy to paddle, she tracks super fast. This squared off transom gives me a nice place to put a platform to push pole from. So I cut a board to fit over the transom, put some little pieces of wood to keep them sliding around, had some leftover foam from the Ginu, came with the Ginu. So that guy just sits there and just slides right into place, right? Those boards keep it from moving. And then, boom, I just get right up and I'm pulling. And that jacks me up super high for whoever's casting up front. It's one of the best polling skits I've ever had, to be honest. What a great fire drill boat, too, because it is so light for two people. If we want to go sight casting just behind where we live, I can throw this in the back of the truck, even without the bed extender, and just slide it in and just get back there. It's only a mile. Jump up on the platform and we're sight casting. What you got here in the canoe new? <laughs> a little trout's taking this canoe on a sleigh ride. He waylaid that plug. Come on, man. There's a measure right at uh, where you... Oh, he gone? Teresa's very comfortable in the front of this canoe. She sits up on the nose. She stands in front of her seat. I have a little piece of wood. As you can see, I'm doing some trickery with these alligator clamps on the side as, as a paddle holder, push pole holder. We'll take a look in my shop at that blue basket and what all goes in it. Okay, what goes in the fire drill basket? Well, got this basket for free floating in the Louisiana marsh, number one. I got these alligator clamps, a light for starting early, my flies, a six pound anchor to stop both of us. This is uh, pretty much just soft plastics and jig heads. Just essentials, man, that's all we need. Some AM lures and some regular old paddle tails. All summer shrimp season, so boom. That's all you need, some small paddle tails. Here, Tackle Taco with a handful of uh, topwater plugs. That's it. Tackle Taco is what I call them, but it's just a rod wrap. And then a fish grip, and something to cut line with tape measure in case we get into that I think we set a record zone and then I always put like I don't know four bottles of water juice some leader material with this is generally 17 pound test fluoro this is what I generally roll with if I'm only taking one uh, if I switch glasses out during the day you know I've got that to protect my glasses and then just wired together I have the two PFDs with a seat cushion for Teresa and then there's your fire drill basket right there ready to rock and just throw in the truck at a moment's notice. That's what's in it. No, he's, on he's on it. it. He's on it. He's on it. Oh! oh I got the chills. What is that, trout? Yep. Good job. Pushing this backwards. I'm trying to get some. Oh, that's another nice trout. Tell me he don't got some energy. Wow. Nice. The magic of a non-motorized vessel like a canoe or kayak is they're simple, so you tend to go more because there's no gassing up and clean up, yada, yada, yada. I traded this canoe for a rod and reel. I found the shrimp basket floating in the marsh. Those PFDs I got for $2 at Goodwill. This thing is darn near free. Can't beat it.